I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Thanks, balls. Seriously, everybody, I'm so excited to bring to you today this Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0. Seriously, safe shave technology to not only protect your family jewels, but to reduce those nicks and those cuts, which are very uncomfortable. Literally, I have my balls currently thanking me. What I really like about it, it has multiple settings so you can set the length on it. And then there's also a little light so you can actually see what you're doing on there. Like a lot of you, I had PTSS, post-traumatic shaving syndrome. That being said, Manscaped, the lawnmower has really helped me gain my confidence back. It's seriously so safe, you can do things without even looking down there. And as a lawnmower is for all your below the neck grooming, we also have the Weed Whacker. You know what this is for? You know it's in here, Trimmer. Products work very, very well. I've been using them for the last week now, and I am absolutely blown away. I am as hairless as ever, and I'm looking good. So you know how the saying goes, the best gift you can give a man are a pair of happy balls. With that, everybody, use that code on screen right now, joel at manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping. That is right. Your balls will thank you. Your man will thank you. 20% off. Use that code joel. Free shipping. And at that, I'm going to stop scaring my neighbors out the window. Hey, everyone. Joel Hanson here. And today, we are in Plantersville, Texas to eat Texas's biggest steak ever, 85 ounces. That is right. We are at... Relay Station Restaurant. See, it's right on the sign, home of the free 85 ounce steak. Apparently also a free catfish on Fridays. Too bad it's not Friday. So, or all you can eat the catfish, not free. So yeah, we're gonna head on in. Apparently you have seven, five minutes to eat this 85 ounce steak, plus sides, there's like baked potato, salad, etc., etc. So yeah, Texas' biggest steak. Let's eat some food. Everyone, so here we are with the steaks. Uh, looks really good. Uh, apparently they're the same weight. Uh, mine looks a little bigger. Raina got hers cooked a little more. She asked for a medium well. I asked for a medium rare. Um, so we have a baked potato. We also have a dinner roll, side salad. 75 minutes when we start the time. So we're going to start here just momentarily, but it looks really good. Raina, ready for some, uh, some steak? Some beef. Some beef is right. Some Texas beef. So yes. I like steak. I'm always ready. So we'll get our staff and start here momentarily. All right. So we're about to get started here. I might as well I have a little timer, so we'll just run it. So uh, Raina, ready to go? Yeah. All right. We'll say we'll start at the count of five, four. Three, two, one. Let's eat. Get some ketchup for that good old potato. All right, y'all. Having some steak. Definitely a big one. 85 ounces. Oh, yeah. Nice seasoning on it. I love my seasoning. This is a sirloin steak. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Relay Station in Plantersville, Texas. So this is like about an hour-ish, 45 minutes-ish, kind of north of Houston, so kind of in that Houston area. I'm um, definitely a little bit more out in the country though, definitely a little bit in a more rural area. So here we are doing the biggest steak in Texas challenge. Yes, that is right. This is Texas's biggest steak. This thing was very large, a whole 85 ounces, everybody. That is a lot of beef. For reference, the uh, Big Texan is 72 ounces. So I asked for my steak cooked medium rare. Raina got hers uh, medium well, I believe, um, besides the steaks, um, which were supposed to be the um, same weight. They had uh, the buns and we had baked potatoes and a little side salad. Um, so pretty standard kind of for a steak challenge. I think those are the very traditional kind of, I'm gonna say like steak challenge fixings. Generally, it's kind of that steak meal. Again, the steak, the bun, a little bit of a green, and then a baked potato. I had uh, some extra steak spice there. I'm a big uh, spice person. I like kind of my uh, my salts and my spice, especially on beef. Um, so that was uh, definitely my choice um, for the flavorings. Not a big sauce person on steak. I prefer it kind of in its raw simplicity. Um, beef is delicious in itself, and so beef, fat, and salt is kind of all you need. And uh, like I said, it was here I am tasting the steak spice, and I was like, yeah, it's good. It's very nice. Um, so yeah, pretty much um, 75 minutes to complete this challenge. Uh, pr definitely a good uh, time limit. Um, there had been a few people to complete this challenge. Um, and kind of like I said, it's like just as the Big Texan. The Big Texan had something like a 7 or 8% completion rate. 
and kind of based on uh, talking to the uh, the staff here I would say that this one was probably somewhere maybe in that area maybe like maybe five percent I don't know but anyway there had been a couple winners um, normally when you do the challenge they have a great big kind of throne um, at the uh, kind of in the corner there which you saw at the beginning of the video which you would normally sit in for the challenge as there was two of us doing it at the same time that didn't obviously work out but the throne was to uh, the right of the screen and of course here we're just sitting at a table um, which was I mean you had to for two people they also have all you can eat catfish here so I'm kind of tempted to get some of that too after we're about three three minutes and 20 seconds in how's it going right now seriously if they weren't already doing the uh, the steaks I mean they have all you can eat catfish that's super cool um, but this is definitely a small place a rustic place but it is very much family owned and operated um, the people like that are working there are the owners um, you know in the family, so I thought that was really really cool definitely a nice homegrown spot um, If you want some kind of good food old style kind of I don't know I'll call it old style country kind of just traditional Texas slash just some good kind of ish southern whatever you want to classify it as it's some pretty it's like it's a cool little spot um, so yeah all you can eat catfish that would have been a great video in itself I would love to have the all you can eat catfish apparently it was very very good we were talking to the people behind us and they informed us about that um, I think that's pretty much the majority of the information. Um, it was a um, kind of packer cut of a uh, sirloin um, for the steak. That was the kind of steak. So there was a little bit of um, silver skin, at least on mine. Silver skin, if you're not familiar, it's not um, gristle. It is not um, fat. It is a connective tissue. It is literally unedible. Um, you did not have to eat that. It's it's something that is supposed to be removed in the trimming of the steak. Um, so any, any of that that, that would have been missed on the steak you did not have to eat as again it is literally unedible you cannot chew it it will not break down um, but that being said that's about it D delicious uh, steak um, definitely uh, with the so a spice I really enjoyed the flavor of it um, but yeah let me know down below what you guys think of the steak um, do you think it looks good would you want to give it a try and of course like this video if you guys like it maybe consider subscribing and at that i'll let you get to the rest of the video well one more thing guys are you a steak fan like come on I mean, anyway i'm a big steak fan you guys know that if you've been watching the channel you know i love beef and if you're not again welcome to the channel texas biggest steak guys for 75 minutes let's go let's see what happens five and a half minutes in going good Do you guys see right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hot water. Got it. Thank you. Oh, that's good. That's good. We're going to dip and try it fast this time. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I don't judge. <laughs> All right, eight and a half minutes in of beef and chill. Still going well. Pretty tasty. I'm on probably about maybe half a steak left. Rain is about the same point. Not good. Definitely a good job, girl. 
I love that salt, beef, and fat mixture though. I don't think Raymond appreciates cows very much. She's definitely on my tartar sauce. Just over 13 minutes in, both getting on with like fish and meat. Going pretty good. Got about 60 minutes left. All right, my steak's gone. I just have some silver skin, which I'm gonna find out how to eat. So we'll get on the roll, the big potato and the salad next. All right, just a roll, then I'll find about the silver skin. I just gotta find out if I gotta eat that silver skin or not. Is the lady around? We'll find out. All right. I'll eat the fat. Yeah, that's silver skin. So I'm gonna find out. So maybe done, maybe not. We'll find out. You don't have to eat the I don't need the silver skin? Okay. Then we are officially done. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Is this the first time you've done this? Uh, I've done this a few times. Not like, not here, but I've done a few of these challenges, so. All right, just finished up. So I don't know, maybe about, let's say 18 minutes, roughly, something like that. 17, 18, 19 where we finished um, and then Miss Raina is just finishing up now she's just down to basically a bite of steak a little potato and a 
bit of bun, I guess. So, uh, excuse me. I enjoyed that. I really like the steak spice. I love beef. I love beef juice. Mm, excuse me. Although now I hear they have all you can eat catfish, so I might indulge into that a little bit. But excuse me. Whew. Well, good job. We're gonna keep it up. I'd love one, yeah. I'll like take one. Cobbler? Sure. Ice cream with it? Sure. <laughs> okay, we are back. I appreciate it. <laughs> you want some catfish? Blackberry cobbler. No, we want some catfish too. About 22 and a half minutes in, we're just finishing up. Excuse me. about just shy of 23 minutes. 75, yeah. Finished? Woo! All right, ready to just finish up. Just shy of 23 minutes. Um, maybe about 18 for myself, something like that. But yeah, so everybody, hope you enjoyed that. It was a very nice big steak challenge. Uh, really enjoyed the seasonings on it. So yeah, we get a meal for free. Apparently we get some free dessert, which is really cool. And here we go, blackberry cobbler. This is my first time actually ever having a blackberry cobbler, so, but you can see it uh, steaming with the ice cream, because it's the cobbler's hot, and then the ice cream. Yeah, this is like picturesque lighting right here, so there you go guys, enjoy, and I will enjoy it with you. All right. We're gonna release the cobbler's and ice cream. I do. I've never had blackberry with you, though. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Is it sweet? It's warm. Mm. Dude, I love cobbler. Good level of cakiness. Mm. Nice sweet mixture. The ice cream adds a uh, creamy dynamic. It cools it off a little bit. It's really nice. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the staff are excellent here as well. Really cool experience. Had some really nice people there. I like this. It's um, I find it less sweet than like a peach cobbler with the blackberries. Uh, it's just bla I think blackberries are more bitter. Not bitter, but they're like a berry. A little, a little yeah, sweet. like a, a, a little tang. Nice as opposed to peach. Peach is just sweet. A little tangy. I agree with that. I like that. Would recommend.